Hi Tubes, I'm over at John's here. It's a pretty shitty day out, it's raining and stuff, so we're in his garage here. The lighting's not the best. It's good lighting, but this is where he keeps his uh, his antique cars, his old Studebaker truck here, and over there's his Oakland. I don't think anybody ever seen this. What is this thing here, John? Oh, that's a root. A root? 1957 root lawnmower. That's pretty neat. Yeah. He just had it restored. Somebody restored it for him. Well, this was this was your father's or somebody. This yeah, was in a family since it was new. Bought it brand new. Brand new. 1957. 1957. Yeah. 69, 59 years old. All right, I just thought I'd show it to you since we were there. But like I say, I mean, the, the lighting's okay in here, but you have to you have to bear with us. All right, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna fill this with oil, and then John made this plate here. We're gonna put that plate on there, and on the other side here is uh, a fitting for a port of power. And we're going to hook it up with a port of power. I was going to give you an update on the pumpkin over there, but it just started raining again. Maybe I can do it without getting too much uh, water on my lens here. Here's where that pumpkin starts. If you follow that vine, these are just decorative pumpkins here, so he bought them. But if you follow that vine, it goes all the way down there, over there, to his fence, and goes up up into the tree. And this thing's dying off, so. I don't think we're gonna get much of a pumpkin. I think it stopped growing. But maybe you can get a good look at it there. Yeah, that's almost more interesting than the engine we're doing. And then the vine goes up a little further into the tree, up to the top. But like I say, I don't think we're gonna get any more growth out of that. The rest of it's dying off. But uh, that's pretty cool. A pumpkin tree. Alright. Let me get back in here and help John. Here's something else interesting too. This uh, bicycle built for two. And it's actually a Lamborghini. Pretty cool. Expensive bike there. Diageo. I think... Uh, they might have bought out uh, Vespa. Does that Viaggio have anything to do with Vespas? I'm not sure what they do that. Huh. But anyway, here's, uh, here's the bull. I'm getting a glare. The Lamborghini bull. Okay. That's just a little filler because all we're going to do is push, push on this bitch with a port of power and uh, see what we get. I'm ready. Let's fill her up. All right, we got that filled. I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, filled just about to the top. And then just before we uh, put the put the plate on there, we'll, we'll put a little more in, so. What we got here is this uh, port of power. It's actually a pretty good one. It's a Heim Warner. And I've owned it for about 40, 45 years. And I bought it used, so. It's a good one from back in the day, made in America, I think. And uh, probably probably could use a rebuilding, but uh, hopefully we can get one more use out of it here. We're going to take the pump off of there and just hook the, the hose right up to it directly. John's got a gasket on there, and he's uh, going to bolt that up. Okay, well, I'll give him a hand here. Alright, John's down here and he's starting to pump. I don't feel you, anything. You don't feel anything? Keep going. Maybe that thing is empty. Yeah, okay. I was trying to put some oil on that thing because uh, it worked, you know, because we used it on a kid's uh, car. All right, I'm going to put some oil on there. Can you take this off? Uh, I don't know, let me see. All right, we got a little problem here. It's not the, the pump that's bad. Pump that up, John. It's actually, you see it coming out here, we got a bad seal. Oh, 
fluid in the pump maybe. Hmm. Pressure here, yeah, either. Yeah, let's try something else. All right, just as I suspected, uh, I think my pour power uh, gave out. But luckily, called the uh, little dirt bike. You say, kid? Hey, too. And he brought his pour power here. I think I think our problem is we might have a warped piece of steel here, so we might have to get make a new plate. But uh, wipe that, John. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah look at that, it's puking yeah, out. Yeah, it's right out the middle. Oh man. Right out of the middle. All right, so we got we got a defective plate here. We're gonna have to go uh, see if we can get a plate and actually a tap, because John don't have a half inch pipe for a quarter inch, right? Quarter inch quarter, pipe. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we got a good port of power that works. All right, I'll see what we can do. All right, I found out our problem is, buddy. Can you check down here with your camera? Look, that, oh, yeah. that engine is not even close. This is a straight edge. You know, and this side here is a little better. But uh, I think our problem is right here. So we got to try and get that warp out of that. That's our problem. It's not, it's not our plate. Our plate is perfectly flat. And not there. Alright, so let's uh, see what we can do with that. Alright. Alright, we uh, sealed it a little better. We'll see what happens. Not feeling too good. No? I'm getting some pressure, but not much. Huh. See it coming out anywhere? No. Not yet. i get my nuts away from you. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to the piston so it doesn't fly out. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna hold on to that. Is it getting a little pressure? No, it's staying constant. Huh. It's gotta be coming out somewhere. Okay, crack the engine. <laughs> Look inside the uh, water jack. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it is, uh, it is, you got moisture in there. I don't know why. When we poured, when this uh, overflowed, it ran down. Oh, damn. Oh, look, it's. I think it's oozing out a little bit there. Yeah, right, it's starting right here. Yeah. Let me, uh... Not too bad, though. Let me tighten her. Hmm. All right, we're pumping it up, but uh, we're just not getting a seal there. You know, you can actually see it. It's under pressure now, but you can see it actually moving. I wonder, I wonder if we heat that piston up, it might help a little bit. I don't know. We're going to dig around with it a little bit and see what we can do. I don't think I don't think we'll do much with it though. Got a flashlight. All right. We got we got pressure here. Excuse me, I got a flashlight. Here you go, buddy. Okay. We got pressure on the cylinder. The kid's filling up the the quarter power again. And John, he's heating up the cylinder. I don't know if you can see it. But you see the cylinder sticking out a little bit. It was recessed a little, and I'm, I'm hitting on the end here with a piece of oak and a sledgehammer, and we're getting some movement. So once we get a half an inch, maybe a little more movement, we're going to put the flywheels back on and, and shimmy it back and forth. Okay, pump it up, buddy. All right, buddy. I'm making a noise. I hear it moving. I don't know if you guys can hear it, we got rain hitting the top of the ceiling. Hold it, John, hold it, hold it. We're getting some fluid fluid uh, coming out the bottom here. So that's a good sign. So we got it, it's unseized, now it's just uh, a tight fit. Go ahead, buddy. I need more fluid in a minute. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to puke now, buddy. Let's 
Hmm. All right, well, it's not seized anymore. No. Like you said, just a tight fit. I think all those weeks of uh, soaking it too. Soaking helped a little bit, but it's oh, dry as a yeah. bone. And heating it up with the torch, I think. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of everything helps. What would really help is if we had a, a real good seal there, but we don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, we would have had it. Huh. We would have had it a while ago. But well, once he pumps that up and it starts puking stuff out, then then that poor power is going to be useless. Yeah, I think we're at that point. Are you? Well, it's all over the bottom here. Well, I'll keep pumping. Yeah, it's I working, see, buddy. I see it dripping out steady at the bottom. Hmm. It's coming. It's just coming out, buddy. Yeah, it's it's coming. It's coming out faster there because I'm not leaking here. Just a, nothing's coming out here right now. So that means it's moving that. Right. All right. So I think it's just going to be a matter of uh, keep filling the porter power up with because that don't hold very much. Nah. But every time you do that, you hear it moving. Oops. Sorry about that. We're actually getting fluid coming out of the middle here. I don't know why. Look at that. Maybe there's a hole in the piston. Maybe. Alright, uh, we gotta refill the, the hydraulic pump. You all filled up, buddy? I'll fill it up. Alright, let's try it again. Can you see it? It'll be like a sixteenth each time, isn't it? Hmm. All right. I think what we're going to do, since we're losing fluid, is uh, we're going to lube this up. It's moving good now, buddy. We'll lube this up and then uh, put the flywheels back on, and then uh, try and rotate it. Maybe maybe work it in and out a little bit. All right. All right. We got the engine hoist out here. Uh, how many ton is that, John? Looks pretty big. Ten ton? Twenty? Uh, th this is just a two ton, believe it or not. Two ton? I don't believe it. Yeah. And we got it wrapped around. Sorry for the harsh lighting, but uh, like I say, that's what we're dealing with here. You know, I think just from sitting, the piston came out a little further. So we're going to lift this up now, set it on its feet, and put the flywheels back on it. And then uh, try and rock them back and forth. She's going to turn automatically. Hmm. Give me a hand there, buddy. I wonder if we've got enough room for the flywheels on the sides. Uh, I guess you will. I don't know. Alright. Now we've. Uh, I gotta give him a hand here. Let's see. 
Uh, we've got the engine up right here, sitting on a cart. Now we're going to put the flywheels on. They're pretty heavy. Good thing John has this uh, engine hoist. All right, I'm going to have to put you guys down so uh, I, can, I can give my hand here. All right, there we go. Good. That's good there, yeah. It's got it stuck on a, it's stuck on the gear over there, John. We gotta shimmy it around. I right, then put you guys down again. All right, we got the oiled up the journals here and everything, and uh, we got the connecting rod. We just gotta go get the cap, put the cap on there. John's putting a safety chain on there just in case something decides. If we had a blowout, this thing would uh, tip over. So uh, we're going to put these caps on and then uh, we're going to try and rock it back and forth a little bit. All right, me and John put the, the flywheels on. And we, we rocked them a little bit, but uh, I don't think we're getting any, any movement out of it. So I think what we're going to have to do is... Uh, the kid went home with his uh, porter power, so I think John John says he's going to buy himself his own little porter power, and then he's going to fill that hole up again. And you, you're only getting about uh, maybe a sixteenth or an eighth at a time. And then we're looking at the flywheels here, and even if that flywheel is horizontal, we're only going to be able to get that out another uh, inch or so. So I think our best bet is just to get a porter power and do it about a sixteenth of an inch at a time. It's it's in there pretty tight, so. But it I, moved. But it moved, yeah. We we got it. We moved a lot, so yep. it's not seized anymore. It's just stuck. Is a difference. So I think we're gonna call it a night. It's getting pretty dark out there, and uh, I guess you could play with it tomorrow, John. Yep. Maybe I'll stop by see how you're going, but uh, we made progress. So I think that's going to be it for now. All right, say goodbye, buddy. Good night. All right, Tubes. See you later.